All right, well, we're going to try this. Try YouTube again, you know. Not expecting much, but... All right, well, we're going to try this. And uh, accidentally have it on loud, so it's going to sound like I'm echoing now. All right. Uh, NLDS Game 1. Cotters at Mets. Connor Rourke versus Jacob deGrom. And uh, we are going to get into this right here. Mets are the two seed. And the big Cotters are the three. Mets went 95 and 67. Cotters went 91 and 71. Connor Rourke, the ace, going to be on the bump. Austin Cotter, see you later. You're going to ride the pine after your comments earlier. We're going to give Ben Keefe the start here. Roided up Ben Keefe just a little bit because he was kind of playing like shit. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, let's go. There's the Mets lineup. McNeil, Conforto, Smith, Alonzo, Lindor, Rosa Reina's on their team now. J.D. Davis, James McCann, and DeGrom. So that's a good lineup. Good lineup for sure. For somehow they got a Rosa Reina. And uh, let's get into some big Cotter playoff action and pray that the stream doesn't lag. We're off to a good start, but... As I say that, it'll probably start lagging. All right, NLDS, first big Cotter playoff game of the two seasons we've done. At City Field, Cots at Mets. Name change might be pending for the big Cotters, but we'll have to decide that after the season. For now, we're going to have to stick with the big Cotter name against Jacob deGrom. If any game gets like out of hand in the playoffs, I'm just going to quick manage, but if it's close, I'm just going to watch the whole game. And, uh, wow, that's a hell of a year from DeGrom. But Connor Rourke won the Cy Young over him. So we'll see. Starting things pitchers. off with CJ. No, I don't want to play. Let's remember to go to neutral for team select and get started here. The Mets got their Mets fans got their rally towels. No, that and can't. CJ takes a ball. First playoff First game for the Cotters. Get hyped. CJ fouls that one off. Okay, okay. One and one. Got to get to DeGrom early. Give Rourke a lead. Two balls, one strike. 99 from him, but it's outside. Who's going to step up for the big Cotters in the playoffs? Yeah. Ooh, tough pitch. Got the inside edge, two and two. Keep battling CJ. Wow, swung right through the changeup. Degrom is is a little bit a little bit of an issue. He's uh he's the pretty good. Nate, Nate Reed will step up. Got Reed. two lefties to start things off against Degrom. Not that it'll really matter, but trying to get that advantage against him. There's a strike. And a foul off. He's throwing back-to-back change-ups to start the at-bat. Let's see if he tries to pump some heat here. McCann sets up on the outside, and he oh, misses his out. spot with his third straight change-up. Okay. I feel like he's still got a sit fastball, though. Nope. There's 99. It's hard to tell how fast the pitches are like on the show. Like You can't really tell. They just all look the same speed. Like, did that look like a hundred? Not really. Come on, Nate, let's go. Wow, you can't watch a change up down the middle, bro. You're not gonna get pitches like that against the Grom tonight. That can't third. stare at that one, Nate. Fielder. Gotta swing the bat. Number 14. I mean, it's a good change up, but he left it right over the plate. Gotta at least foul it off if you're not sitting on it. Kieran hitting third, had a great season, hit over 300. Let's go. Oh, Takes a tough pitch there, 98 outside corner. There's his numbers on the year, 872 OPS, 302 average. Hit 21 bombs this year. I think he only had like 12 last year. So big power increase for Kieran Tawari. Up high, 99. Someone just got to hit a nuke off the ground. I mean, that's really what you got to do. Just get one run of support, let Connor do his thing. Gonna need a good outing out of Connor tonight. 
Gonna have to match the Grom. He's the Cy Young winner, so I expect him to match him. As that one is hit pretty hard, but it's kind of just gonna hang up there lazily. One, two, three inning for DeGrom. On to the bottom of the first. Connor Rourke takes the hill for the big Cotters. Let's go. Let's look at these numbers from the Cy Young winner in the National League. 18 and 3, 203 ERA, 0.88 whip, 229 Ks, only 44 walks in 33 starts. What a beast. Facing Lead Jeff up. McNeil well, to get things started. Number six. Let's go. Let's match to ground here. There's a strike 93. Connor doesn't throw super hard, but he's still good. Still very good. Let's go. Good start to the stream. I really hope I don't jinx that, but pleasantly surprised. Wow, that curveball hung right there, fouled away. Tough pitch to see. And that is pulled foul. 93, sitting 93 on the fastball. And that one's fouled away. Got up to 95 that time. If he can sit consistently 95, that's what you need from him. Neil making him work here to start the game. Damn, seventh pitch. Three straight fouls. And four straight. Actually, it might be five straight, potentially. No, I think it's four. And another one. There's five straight. What an at-bat from McNeil. I mean, it's only one and two. It's not like he's fallen off three two pitches. That one on the ground. Easy play for Benjamin Keefe. And out number one. Good work. Didn't let McNeil win the battle. Let's take a look at the Mets lineup again. Who's having a good year? No one's hitting over 300. Pete Alonso maybe having the best year, possibly. Mets lead the NL in homers this year. Okay. Let's not give up any nukes, Gunner. Conforto. Wow, that's a really good pitch. Got to get that curveball work in here in the NLDS. 94 on the fastball. Oh, man, these umps are shit. Freddie Ferguson. Gosh, everyone hates that guy, I heard. Outside slider. First slider of the night for Rourke. Shut the fuck up with your rally towels, Mets fans. They're like, nothing's happening right now. You can take a break from them. There you go. A lot of foul off for the Mets hitters. They're not really timing Rourke's pitches up well. It's a good sign. Connor's keeping him off balance. And there's a great slider inside. Came inside on him, in on the hands. Second out of the inning. Here's the postseason bracket. Left fielder. Winner of this Dominic. series will take on the winner of Cubs-Dodgers. I'm going to venture out and say the Dodgers will sweep the Cubs in that series for sure. Dodgers, I think we're the only team that won 100 games in like this uh, this season on uh, the show. And that one is hit pretty hard. Stay in the park, please. It's not going to. It's a solo bomb. Oh, boy. Dominic Smith takes Rourke deep, only 346. Kind of was just more of a lazy fly that just kind of carried out, but he hit it pretty well. And that's going to hurt because uh, getting a run off the Grom is a tough task. First inning run for the Mets is kind of kind of big. Dominic Smith, shit. Just a mistake pitch. Let's see the pitch again. I want to see what it was. I didn't really see what it was. It was just a fastball. That was the first pitch of the at-bat. Show the replay already. I don't want to see him slap hands with people, please. Oh, that's a great view of it. I think it was a fastball. It's just right down the heart. Not hit particularly hard or far, but it just kind of hung up there enough to get out. Damn, bro. 
Quick lead for the Mets. Going to force the Cotters to score off the Grom now. But hey, Cotters got the hitters to do it. It's all right. It's all right. Hang in there. Just give us one run ball, Connor. Let's go. There's a good fastball outside. Same pitch, didn't swing at it that time. 2 1. 20th pitch of the inning. Shut the fuck up with your rally towels, Mets fan. Take a fucking break. It's literally the middle of an at bat. We don't need to see those things waving around behind the plate the whole game. Ooh, man. How do you not chase that changeup? That's a really good pitch. Full count, Lindor waits on deck. Come on, Connor, get him here. Nah, that was pretty non competitive. Alonzo draws a walk, brings up Lindor. Had a pretty solid Batting season. Not, not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous Francisco. about this, but Lindor. I trust my ace. I trust the big Cotter ace. There's a fastball, blew it right by him, got it back up to 95 that time. And fouled away, changeup ran in. 0-2. Bounce a curve here, or go high fastball. Goes low fastball, that's a good pitch too. All he can do is chop at it, follow it away. Nope. And there's the high fastball, ball, up and away, misses. 27th pitch of the inning, so the Mets are doing their job. They're making Rourke work, forcing Jim Cotter to go to his dog shit bullpen a little early in the game. And another foul off. I mean, credit to the Mets hitters. They're having really good at bats here. Like that. It's going to get 30 pitches in this inning. A little bit of a rough start for the Cotters, but hey, if they're only down one nothing, can't complain that much. Oh, man. Just missed. Went down to 92 on the velocity. A Rosa Rain on deck. Come on. You can't walk him here. Make a pitch. Got to make a 3 2 pitch here. And another foul. Jeez, dude. Connor cannot get out of this inning. 31st pitch. And that one is hit up in the air. And CJ will back up and catch it. All right, all right. I mean, the Mets only had that one solo homer, but Connor threw 32 pitches. And the Mets take a lead. one nothing is not the end of the world, but, you know, You'd like to, one nothing feels like a lot more. 34 bombs, 103 RBIs on the year. How about a game tying solo bomb here? At least a base hit. Let's go. Little bit of a lag on the stream it looks like, but it's working itself out. It's not like stopping completely. It's just like little mini lags. We can handle those. 1-1, one, one, 99, two seamer. The ground is so dirty, dude. Ran in on his hands, fouled away. Hit it hard, but right at Alonzo. And there's the first out. Batting fifth, the third baseman, number three. Let's go, Sam. I feel like Con as tough of an ask as it is, I feel like Connor's got to keep the Mets at one run for the Cotters to have a shot in this game because it's going to be tough to, for me to imagine the Cotters scoring much off the Grom, especially in the playoffs. 100 there. Now he's touching 100 with the four seam. Difficult task, especially, you know, missing Brady Lang in the lineup. Brady Lang always works good at bats. Very least, he'll take some walks for you. He's out. Hopefully, Ben Keefe can, can have a good good playoff run, but not sure I see it. There's 3-1. Let's go. Get on base here. Let's get Tim up here with our base runner on. McCann's looking for the high fastball here. Caught the plate, 3-2. 
Sam has yet to swing the bat in this at bat. He's going to have to here. And he chops it to short. Lindor will get him. him. Barely. The throw wasn't great, but still got him. And with two outs, we got Tim got Wallace had an okay year. I mean, to be honest, like he went on he before he went on the injured list, like in like June, he was playing horrible. And to get that OPS back up to 792, pretty decent. I mean, it was at like six something before he went on the OPS, so he had a pretty solid second half. Hitting in the six hole, way behind the hundred from the ground. Can't really blame them there. Mets fans got their gay ass rally towels and they're excited. Slider almost hits his knee. And curve bounces. Good take. 2 2. Oh, that one was blistered, but he was just early on it. Fouled it away. 31st pitch for DeGrom. It's a good foul off. That changeup is tough. Just make DeGrom work. Get his pitch count up just like they did to Connor. Another foul off. Good at bat. Good plate appearance for Tim Wallace here. And another foul off. There you go. Work this count. Get it to 3-2 if you can. Although DeGrom's been throwing strikes pretty consistently. Yeah. Got to swing the bat on that pitch. Went up high with the fastball, and he just watched it. And DeGrom has retired all six. Going to need some real good work from Connor Rourke in this game. Otherwise, the Cotters are going to fall into a 1-0 hole, which is a best-of-five series. Not ideal, especially since uh, the Mets have Kershaw team now. They signed him last offseason in this